Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. And Tori, how are you doing with all of this social distancing? I know that we've heard that word a million times. We're probably sick of it right now. Only the social distancing is keeping us from getting sick. Um, sometimes it's called physical distancing. And the whole point is that you should be anywhere between six and 10 or more feet away from other people who don't live with you to avoid getting someone sick or getting sick yourself or spreading this COVID-19 around. So how are you doing with it? Overall, I actually have to say I'm doing pretty well, mostly because uh, thanks to my, my sweet dog, Nala, who needs to go outside a couple times a day, walks and getting outside and getting some of that vitamin D from the sun is really keeping me sane. Yeah. And if you see someone from across the street, you can still wave. You can still smile with your eyes under a mask. Um, but I've got a story for you, Tori, out of Singapore, where there is a robot dog patrolling the parks. What? It's a yellow robot dog. It's got four legs. And it was made by the US-based Boston Dynamics uh, Robotics Company. And the robot dog has a camera that monitors how busy this park becomes it also has a loudspeaker that will um, broadcast social distancing messages to people if it senses them getting too close to one another. Whoa. So it's this bossy robot dog that's going around being like, whoa, 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 step away from your friend. Something I don't know exactly what it's saying, but this dog is going around and being like, eh, excuse me, you're too close to that person. Six feet, six feet, six feet. And then it also has sensors to keep it from getting too close to people. I, I'm now picturing like a robot police officer to be buddies with this robot dog. <laughs> and what a great TV show that would make. Well, no, actually, it would probably be boring. I'm just imagining what this robot dog would look like in a dog park with all of the other dogs. And I'm looking at a picture of it. To me, it looks more like a yellow grasshopper almost. But it's a dog. It's about the size of a mid-sized dog as well. And uh, it's, it's the big social distancing dog. So the Boston Dynamics robotic company that has made this dog is amazing. The robots that they're developing and building. I would highly recommend for people today, if you need a little break, if you want to go down a funny little YouTube rabbit hole, uh, grownups, check it out. You can, this Boston Dynamics has a YouTube channel where you can watch videos of all of the amazing robots that they're making and it will blow your mind. I could watch these wow. videos for hours. They're so cool. And maybe inspire you to build your own robot with whatever you have around the house or something like Legos if you've got them. Do you think it would? Do you think it would be a good idea or a bad idea to wrap tin foil around my actual dog and see if I can make my own robot dog? You want to make your own social distancing robot dog? Well, Nala would be really bad at enforcing social distancing <laughs> because she loves people and just wants to snuggle all the time. So. Her personality is not fit to be a social distancing enforcing dog, but I think it would be really cute anyway. I would probably encourage you to not wrap your dog in tin foil. You think However, so? if you got to get your yayas out, you can always wrap a hot dog in tin foil. <gasps> okay, that's the only kind of dog you should do that with. <laughs> All right. And with that, when we come back, I have got a story of one thing that some people are doing in a neighborhood somewhere in this U.S., um, somewhere in the United States, to help people to connect with nature using sidewalk chalk. I'll explain everything in just a couple of minutes. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live.